Today, we'll be reviewing cheap versus expensive gel blasters ranging from $35 all the way up to $90. We'll be measuring the accuracy, the FPS, and doing a paint test on these gel blasters. I have four different gel blasters I'd like to show you today, so make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video for the giveaway. Gel blaster number one is made by Gel Zone Pro. It's called the Stormer. This is powered by spring. It's a spring powered gel blaster. And when you pull it back, you have this red indicator that sticks out saying it's ready, it's loaded, it's ready to fire. Now, as far as the gel blaster looks, it's very colorful. You can definitely tell this is not a real gun. Uh, so that's good if you're gonna be playing out in public with this. And as far as feel, it definitely feels like it's a pretty cheap, cheaply made gel blaster and there are a lot of screw holes. I mean, you have a lot of screw holes here. The area to put your ammo, you could probably put about 200 rounds into this gel blaster. As far as trigger pull, it is pretty simple to pull the trigger, but when you're cocking it back, it does have some tightness to it. So you really have to be pretty strong to cock this back. So the ammo goes in the top of the gel blaster like I just showed you, which means this is a gravity fed gel blaster. So every time you cock it back, it's going to pull a gelet or a ammo uh, bullet, whatever you want to call it. It's going to pull it down into the weapon, which means it's gravity fed. And this gel blaster is coming in at $24.99, making it the cheapest gel blaster that we're reviewing today. But overall, it's a good price for what you get. Gel Zone Stormer accuracy test. We're about 10 feet away. Let's see how accurate this bad boy is. That was a miss. All right, I'm aiming for them in order from one, two, three, and four. Just a near miss. Okay. I hit the one, so I'm gonna go for two. I hit the two, it's just not knocking them down. There we go, number three. Let's go to four. Okay. I did hit the one, two, three, and the four, but we only knocked down the three, which means it's really not that powerful. Let's find out what the FPS test looks like. This is the moment of truth. How powerful is this? Oh, I hit the, I hit it, sorry. Gotta be accurate first. 1,000, that's wrong. That's wrong, I'm sorry guys. We got something wrong here. There we go, 136, that's about right. That seems pretty accurate. We got 192, so 180. Okay, so we're gonna go with 136, 190, and 180. Let's find out how painful it actually is. Gel Zone Pro paint test, let's go. Whoa, wait, oh, Jesus. Okay, ah, oh, do one more, one more. Oh, okay, dang, for a spring-loaded gel blaster, that thing is pretty powerful. Gel blaster number two on the list today is the Nerf Pro Gel Fire. Now, this is a single pistol that we'll be reviewing today, but when you buy it, it does come in a package of two. This is a set of two. They call it the Gel Fire Dualies. So the first thing to point out with this is that it is coming in at $29.99. It's a cool $30 for this gel blaster. And for the Nerf brand, that's a pretty dang good price. This is one of their cheapest and more affordable gel blasters. As far as the ammo, it's going to also be a gravity fed gel blaster, just like the last one. So you open up this clear lid right here and then you fill it with your gelettes. It pulls a gelette down into it, which means it's gravity fed and it's going to fire it out with just one squeeze of the trigger. So there's no like caulking or anything like a shotgun or like the previous pistol that we have to do. It's just one trigger pull. The thing I wanna mention about the trigger pull is it is very difficult. I have to even use two fingers. I mean, I can use one finger like that, but I like to use two fingers and it is a very difficult pull for a child. So I would say this is another gel blaster that you want to give a child that's maybe 10 or older because anybody younger than that, it's gonna be a, a difficult time to pull that trigger. You have a safety right here. It's literally on and off. Uh, the second thing is to note it is made out of quality plastic. I like that on the back it says eyewear required because that's definitely important for these. Just because these are firing gelettes does not mean they're not dangerous. You could very well go to the hospital or lose an eye if you do not wear your eyewear protection. This is the Nerf Gel Fire Accuracy Test. 
Typically you would be holding dualies, but I'm not really good at aiming with my left hand. So we're just gonna do the right-handed fire with this gel blaster. Let's see how accurate we are. We're gonna aim for the one, two, three, and four. Here we go. That was the two, I was aiming for one. There's the one. Let's see if I can knock it down. There we go. Come on, two. I hit the two. I'm going to hit the three. There's the three. I hit four. It's just not knocking it down. Okay, so I hit four. I hit all the numbers. The only ones I knocked down is one and three. So compared to the first gel blaster, this is definitely easier to aim, but it is probably just as accurate and just as powerful. Let's find out with the FPS test. Here we go, FPS test with the Nerf gel fire. Let's go. 135. 138, 138, 135. So we've got 135 and 138. We fired like five shots and it was very consistent. So not as powerful as the first one, but definitely pretty powerful for a semi-automatic spring-loaded gel blaster. Love it. This is the paint test for the Nerf Pro gel fire. Go ahead. Oh, oh. You're missing. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I got. I got the gist of it. Woo! To be honest, the first one was just a little bit more painful. I, I don't know why or how, but it was. And gel blaster number three is the Run Rest pistol. At least that's what it's called on Timu. You can find this gel blaster on Timu for about thirty-five dollars and some change. Now this gel blaster looks really awesome because of the Glock feel and the Glock look. It's just really generic. It has a drum magazine which just makes it look even cooler and it holds more gelettes than the regular magazine. So this did come with a regular magazine and a drum magazine. That's something to note. This gel blaster is fully electric which means it has a electric magazine that connects to the gel blaster and it works like an elevator and pulls your gelettes right up into the chamber. And as this gel blaster is firing, you'll see later in the video, but it moves back and forth. So it has some action to it, which just makes it look really cool. It does have a rail here to put a sight or a flashlight or a laser. Uh, well, maybe not a sight, but you have a rail here for the sight. Then you can put a flashlight and a laser right there. Um, I don't know really how much those attachments would help, but it does make it look cooler. The plastic is a very cheap plastic. You can tell if you drop this on the concrete or the road, uh, it's probably going to break pretty quickly or chip up. You can already see I have some scratches on this thing and I haven't even dropped it yet. That's from just literally like setting it down and moving it on a surface. Uh, the trigger is uh, very easy. It's actually a button. Instead of being a mechanical trigger, it is an electric trigger, which makes this gel blaster fully reliant on electricity. There we go. Hit the one. There's the two. There's the three. Man, it went through those gelettes like crazy fast. All right, there's the three. And I think we're at a gelettes, but we can obviously see it is definitely accurate. All right, FPS test. Let's see how uh, strong this thing is. There we go. 102, 101, 105, 105 again. Okay, so this one is around 100 FPS to 105 FPS, the weakest by far, but it is the third most expensive. So I'm not sure how I'm liking that. All right, the Timu automatic pistol paint test. Let's go. Oh yeah. Wow, oh yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Honestly, it didn't really hurt at all. Why am I curling this dumbbell? I have no idea. Psst. Psst. Hey, back here. Hey, you wanna know a secret? This is the giveaway. This is the person that won the last giveaway right here, right there. Yeah, you won, congratulations. And today's giveaway is a Mr. Beast gel blaster. If you wanna win this gel blaster, 
All you have to do is tell me how many times I curled this orange gel bell during the entire video. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Last but certainly not least, we have the Unlocks pistol. This is the blue pistol. They also have a yellow one. They both cost the same. Coming in at $90 at full price. But at the time of making this video, they are actually doing a sale for $59.99. So you can get this gel blaster right now for $60. The link is in the description. Let's go ahead and go over it. So as far as these gel blasters go, they have a setting for safety and they have a setting for fully automatic. That is that switch right there. The trigger pull is very simple and very easy. It is also electronic, so there's a button that it pushes, but you can feel that it's quality. This entire gel blaster is made of quality plastics, similar to the Nerf gel blasters. It has a release button on this side of the gel blaster. There's a release button for the magazine. You press it down and you can pull the magazine right out. The best thing about this gel blaster, I believe, is this giant magazine. You can stay out in the field for a lot longer than all the other guys because you can fit up to 500 rounds in this magazine and it also works like an elevator, feeding the gelettes up into the gun and into the barrel. It clicks in very nicely once you want to put the, if I can get it in correctly, so it clicks in very nicely. Why can't I do it? <laughs> All right, so when you, get, when you get it properly, you can definitely just click it right in. Like that was effortless. I was just doing it with my opposite hand. The way you load the magazine, let me show you that. On the top of the magazine, there's a little door. You flip that open and you're gonna load your gel heads right inside that door. As far as charging this gel blaster, you're going to have a built-in battery and you use a USB mini. So you put the USB mini charger right there and this will tell you whether you're fully charged or not with a green and red indicator. Green for being fully charged and red for I'm still charging. Okay, the unlocks accuracy test. Let's go ahead and fire this thing. We're gonna go in order like always, starting with number one. Have to let the gelettes kind of pull up. There they go. Ooh. Boom, look at that guys. Look at that, like extremely fast extremely accurate extremely powerful this is definitely the best so far let's see how the fps works out on this bad boy let's go ahead and find out 209 204 211 and 207 we are in the 200s by far the most powerful which is expected for the most expensive gel blaster in this video but do you want single fire or do you want me to just hold down? Yeah, hold that bitch down. Okay. It's gonna be, oh, I need my mask. Run it over. Safety first. Safety first, guys. Thank you very much. Let's go. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Oh, oh. oh that one hurts. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. This is for scientific purposes only that one definitely slaps it's slapping and that's it for the entire video guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure to always wear your goggles practice safety first watch this video and that video we'll see you next time